Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 11th tutorial on Inkscape. If you haven't viewed our previous tutorials, then visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. And if you already know about the basics of Inkscape, you certainly can move forward to some of the more advanced lessons. With less, this lesson, we're going to start talking about some of the basics of text. Now, if you want to start writing text on your uh, project here, all you need to do is go over here to the vertical toolbar, and here on the fourth item from the bottom, you'll see Create and Edit Text Objects. You can also press F8 to get this. Let's select that now and come out here into the middle of our workspace and single click. Now you can see we have a cursor. Let it, let's type something here and uh, see what happens. All right, learn digital design. That is, that's us. All right. Dot com. We're gonna go, uh, go ahead and do some things to this to this text here, and uh, I'm gonna go over that with you. And work, and by the end of this lesson, you should understand the basics of text. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do to this text is I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it on the video better. And uh, the way I'm gonna do that is. There's more than one way to do this, by the way. You can select the font size of the text, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. But what I'm going to do now is go to the Select and Transform tool and just grab it just like any other object to bring it out. All right, learn digital design. Now, if we want to edit the font and the uh, font size and some other things we can do with the text, we're going to need to go to a different panel than this. We have a special panel that's just for text up here at the horizontal toolbar at the top. You can see we have this uh, view and select font family, font size, and other text properties here at the top. Let's click that. Alright, now that we have that open, the next thing we can do is we can start uh, changing the font of our text and you can see here, let's look at this a little closer, we have several selection boxes here in the panel. We have the font family, which we can select, and we have many to choose from, and then once we go into a specific font family, we have a style, we can go to normal, italic, bold, and bold italic. They all do not have the same styles available. We have a layout, we can choose do we want a line lines to the left, center, right, or justify the lines. Line space uh, this also here we can choose to have horizontal text or vertical text. Here we can choose about line spacing. Uh, it's going to adjust the line spacing according to the height of one line. So if you do 125%, you're gonna have uh, 25% left over so that's going to be the amount of space in between the line the lines if you do 100 then your text is going to be right up against each other and less than that and your text is going to actually start to overlap all right well let's start changing some of these font sizes and decide on a font size that we like now you notice that when we start changing these font sizes it doesn't do it in real time here actually in the workspace but it does give you a text preview down here in the preview box and I'm gonna make this font size a little bit bigger so you can see it in the video and what I usually do is click one of these and instead of trying to go through and click one at a time with my mouse and trying to use this scroll thing over here I'll click one and then I'll use my down arrow key to scroll through the, uh, the different fonts and as you see, we have all kinds of options here. Once you come to one that you like, you can just leave the cursor there, and then you can come over here to the style, and you can select what kind of style you like. Now, it doesn't matter what we do, Albertus, as you can see, is going to have to be bold. It's either bold or bold italic. Then we have Albertus Medium, if you don't want it to be bold. But regular Albertus comes bold. So we're just going to leave it on bold. 
and not go with bold italic. Now, uh, on the layout, we don't have more than one line here, so it's really not going to matter whether we're centered, right, or justified. Um, and the line spacing is not going to matter either. So let's go ahead and apply this to our text. Now you can see that it resized our text to be in accordance with the, uh, the font size. And here on Inkscape, we can always just grab and make it as big as we want. And if, you, if you're afraid that you're going to get your text way out of proportion like this, if, if you're not good at dragging these things out like I'm not, then you can always go up here to the top and lock the proportions. But you want to lock the proportions when it's in its right proportions first. We want it like that. Now the proportions are locked. Let's play with this um, vertical spacing. Let's play vertical spacing. And you can see on vertical spacing, it doesn't give us a preview here in the preview window of vertical spacing. So what you're going to need to do is go to Apply. And look at that. Now we have vertical spacing. But uh, we're going to just change it back to horizontal spacing for now and click Apply. And it looks like there's not going to be any way I can cover all the basics of text here in this one tutorial. So I will see you in tutorial number 12 where we'll pick up right where we've left off.